Thanks for joining me on this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content on the channel. And also be sure to follow me on these other social media platforms. Links are in the description below. All right, have and have not fans. Now this, uh, yeah, I think this is my first recording after my birthday. So first video post birthday, if you will. So uh, with that being said, I mean, I have a lot of videos to do. Trust and believe I'm looking at my list as I'm talking to you now and a lot of stuff. I'm talking have and have nots, Greenleaf, um, Michael Jackson, since his birthday was the same day as mine, uh, Power Ranger, 25th anniversary. Uh, so expect a variety of videos over the next week or so. Just be on the lookout for that. But I, I, on this video... I feel like we really need to talk about, and I feel like this is one of the most discussed things after the episode. I mean, obviously, I think the number two thing would be people critiquing the fact that um, the doctors and whatnot should definitely have David in another wing of the hospital. Well, he's in critical condition, but I think some people are like, he should be in like uh, the burn unit or ICU or something like that. I've just seen a very diverse amount of comments on this. I even had one person who said, look, I am a nurse and I work in a hospital. And I know for a fact that, you know, he shouldn't be in that position in terms of none of his wounds are covered up or anything like that to, you know, um, prevent infection. And I'm just like, well, dang, that's crazy. I mean, it's bad enough. I, l I let the car slide, you know, like everybody's like, Look, Erica, how can she like be incinerated and whatnot while parts of the inside of the car are a little ruffled and burned? But that car itself should definitely have been in worse, worse shape than it was. I let it slide because it's just a freaking car. But then when you get to actual people like the paramedics that were uh, on the scene after Melissa jumped from the roof is like, aren't they supposed to be wearing like gloves or something because you're dealing with a well a body that's bleeding out i mean i'm no expert because i don't really like the sight of blood or anything gory but i do know like some of the basics but i i don't really know like it doesn't really irk me that much but i can understand why some fans are mad about certain things because in real world it wouldn't really happen that way but aside from the david thing i think the second thing that a lot of people are talking about is the money that RK is holding in the trailer for next week's episode, The Damn Defibrillator. Where did this money come from? That is a very good question. I feel that the obvious answer is that money that RK finds is the same money that um, Benny was carrying around in his pocket, the Malone money. I'm going to be honest here because I did say that it was pretty damn dumb for Benny to carry around $45,000 in his pocket. Like when he got arrested, you know, at Hannah's house, he got taken to the police car and the money's in his pocket. Why do you have the money in your pocket? Um, then I remember earlier before he went to the Malone bar trying to get the money back, uh, you know, he got up from the sofa and dropped the money. Hannah found it. It's like, wait, what's this? And then Melissa took the money saying it was hers, then gave it back to Benny. And yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty dumb. So I'm wondering if he has the money on him because remember, I think he said that he only had like 81 or 70 some dollars in the joint bank account with Hannah. So then you have the $45,000 on his person, you know, what he's carrying around. So he goes to the, you know, hotel to see Candace. Then Gia, you know, they asked, well, he asked, well, she asked him if you want to get a drink. And I'm wondering, because I think he was like, uh, putting his hands around his pocket. So I'm wondering, so is he still carrying the money with him? Because I think Gia said she would buy him a drink when he said he would buy it. So I'm wondering if um, he actually has a part of the money with him. But here's my thing with that. We know Hannah doesn't have money like that. So we really have to theorize this. And I'll probably do a separate video on Malik. Now, do you think that Malik actually makes his way out of Hannah's house into the back of the van and then Candace and RK drive off with him into the night? Then later on, they just stop in the middle of some random road and um, RK finds the money on Malik's body. And you're probably wondering, wait, why does he find the money on Malik's body? Because I'm thinking that Malik is probably going to be in a condition where, you know, he lost a lot of blood. So he's probably going to pass out or something. 
I'm wondering if, you know, RK goes back on him and finds the money because if you look close and I'm I, I'm still um, harping on this, the money that RK finds, I'm guessing literally came off of Malik's body, you know, like in his pockets or whatever, due to the fact that the money seems to have blood on them. And it makes more sense that he would have blood in his pockets because, you know, if he got stabbed in like the upper back area near the shoulders, the blood will be drenched down his back and into his, you know, clothes or something like that so maybe just maybe or even maybe the money is in the back of the truck i don't know of the van like you know malik falls over and he, there's blood all over the floor rk goes back there to see what's going on finds the money that's when he's like holy shit and that's how they find the cash but um i do believe that malik was like what he was standing in the middle of like was it hannah's bedroom like tearing the room apart so maybe they go into each room of the house and he's looking for the money that's my guess i mean that's all i can think of maybe they go through i mean that could explain why everything took so long because you know um he's probably like don't run all right now we're going to each room in the house i want to look through it to see if there's any money to see if you lying or not and i mean that makes the most sense to me that he would find some money because why would he say that i'm leaving don't you scream don't you call nobody and that's it and that's when hannah got the phone and you know, why'd you have to do that? And then that led to what happened at the end of the episode. But I am willing to believe that the money is Benny's, but I think that that would just lead to an entirely different uh, turn of events because that would, make, that would make things even worse for Benny. And I know it's bad now because the Malones are after him for thinking he has the money. Here's my thing. Maybe things work out so the Malones cancel the hit on Benny. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa we're sorry. We made a mistake. And then in return, Benny's like, I want to get the money back. It's like, fine, without the interest, you can just give it back to us because we made a mistake. We falsely accused you. Just give us the $45,000 and we're okay. Okay, Um. yeah, I, I actually got the money at my mom's house. I want to go get it, come back, and we're good. Okay. He goes back and then discovers what happened to Hannah. And because in that episode synopsis I did for Stronger Together, Benny finds out what Candace did to Hannah. So... I'm guessing that Benny goes home, finds out the money was taken, and he is flipping out because for good reason. Like, he literally got himself into a mess with the Malones to begin with. Then they falsely accused him. Then his life was almost ended, but things turned out okay. And now it's just like, I finally got a way to get out of this mess, and now the money's gone. What the hell? I could I could see that happening. But that just leads to big, two big things. Number one, did Benny leave the money? Well, actually, multiple things. Number one, did Benny leave the money at the house? Number two, if Benny left the money at the house while Malik was searching through the house with Hannah, did he come across the money, take it, and then leave? Number three, does Malik actually leave the house? Because I do believe he somehow makes it outside into the van, and then they drive off, and he's probably left in the van when it burns. I do not doubt that Candace would do that. But, um... That could explain why the money has blood on it. At least I think it's blood. I mean, that's the only, unless there's freaking tomato sauce in the back of the van, I don't know how the money wouldn't be red. Unless Malik had another job earlier that day and killed some people and took the money and they got their blood on it. I don't know. I'm just theorizing here. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I think the most obvious answer is that the money that RK finds is the money that was Benny's from the Malone's. Or he finds the money in the back of the van because, you know, that's Malik's van and, you know, that's money that he probably got from other jobs. I don't, I'm just speculating here. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Whose money do you think RK finds in the back of the van? Because it is the back of the van because he literally climbs from the back and is like, holy shit. So he either finds it in like a compartment on the van or he literally gets it off Malik because Malik's staggers to his way to the van and then passes out i honestly couldn't tell you i mean my money is on it being benny's money that he got from the malones i could this season has definitely had its way of not just making benny make stupid decisions but making benny go from like one one um it's like he's falling through a manhole cover then he's falling off of a cliff then he's falling into the ocean, and now he's falling into a freaking trench at the bottom of the ocean. It feels like things get worse and worse right where he thinks things are getting better. So that's my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And whose money do you think it is?